Hello everyone, welcome to another LEGO news video. Um, this news was already covered, obviously, but I like to cover older news and stuff, just like sets I'm kind of interested in. And so, I recently saw Pixar's Lightyear, which was amazing, in my opinion, of course. But, um, I already knew I was going to love it going into it. So, these are the Lightyear sets, they made three of them. Um... And two of the three I am very interested in picking up at some point. Um, but we'll take a look at the one that I am not going to be buying. Which is the Zyclops Chase. Which is um, $20. It's still available. It's probably the lamest set. Like, it just doesn't... It's not interesting enough. For me, at least. Um... But yeah, this is based on one of the scenes um, where Buzz is being attacked by one of Zerg, one of Zer the Zerg bots. It's called a Zyclops. It's a Zerg bot. That's what we all know it is. So I don't know why they changed the name, but that's kind of lame. Anyway, um, it features a Zerg bot and you get um, Alicia Hawthorne. Pretty sure that's her name. Uh... Let me, I'm just going to go down here to make sure. Hold on. I don't want to get it wrong. Um, let's see. It doesn't say, I'm just going to say, yeah, it's Alicia Hawthorne. Um, and then you get Buzz Lightyear, of course. Uh, this is the different Buzz than the Toy Story version. We did get Toy Story sets, but that was like a decade ago. Oh my word. Um... So that was, yeah, I definitely missed out on those. Um, yeah, if I, if I were to pick, like, a Toy Story set, I'd probably get the old Zerg versus Buzz set. It's the one with his ship. Um, that's the only set I care about, pretty much. Um, yeah, this is it. It's 20 bucks. It's definitely overpriced. Um, it's just, like, one of Zerg's bots and then two figures and then some little rubble build. It's fine. Like, it looks cool. But, like, it's not enough for that price. It's just... I don't know. It's cool. I could see people getting an army of these bots, obviously, because Zurich has an army of these things. Um, it's cool for kids, you know, they'll like it. Um, I like the design of the bot. I think it's very nice. I love the minifigs. We get better ones in the other sets, so... Yeah. It's, it's a fun one. Definitely don't want to spend too much time on this. It's a nice set for what it is, but I am definitely not interested as cool as it is. So that is the smallest set. Then we get the Zerg Battle, which is very awesome. Um, and so this is $30. I know it says $35. I think it's $30. Pretty sure. So this one, I'm definitely, I'm very heavily considering buying it because I always wanted a Lego Zerg. Um, I obviously missed out on the old Zerg figure, like the minifig. So this is definitely not that. Um, and it's great. It's very accurate because Zerg is massive in Lightyear compared to how he was in Toy Story 2. He was barely bigger than Buzz, but here he's much bigger because it's a mech. Like, it's a robot, actual. So it's a different version, kind of. It's hard to explain. There's spoilers. I'm not going to say anything. But this is a great set. You get two minifigures. You get Izzy Hawthorne. And then you get Buzz Lightyear again. But it's a better version. It's more detailed. And then you... Oh, man, I forgot the robot's name. Um, oh, I don't think they have the name of it here... Oh yeah, Eric. That's the name of it. Eric. Um, and you need to get Socks the Cat, which is always great. And yeah, you get Zerg, who is not a minifigure, but he looks just as great as one. Um, I think they made a new headpiece for him. That looks fantastic. You get a lot of stickers, which don't bother me that much. Um, the weirdest thing about this set is why is Zerg doing this on the front of the box? That is a weird pose. He's almost like, come Buzz, come over here, son. It's weird. Like, why? Why is he beckoning him? I don't know. It's, it's strange. Uh, this is 261 pieces. 
Um, so that's pretty good, you know, pretty good amount of stuff. Um, and 30 bucks, I think it's a pretty good price. It could be cheaper, you know, could be like 20 bucks, but yeah. Oh, well, definitely going to buy this at some point this year. I really would like a Zerg. Um, like, I don't care what, what version, like, I, I love Zerg like, in general. It's kind of like the Omnidroid. I have like this unhealthy obsession with Zerg. Same as the Omnidroid. So, yeah. Um, I love Lightyear. It's great. You go see it. It's fantastic. Um, um, and yeah, the minifigures are excellent. Um, especially for a small set like this. They're very detailed, which is amazing. Because, like, you never really see that these days. And the pieces are great. I guess Zerg could have a few less stickers. But, eh. It's not that big of a deal. Great set. Definitely considering. I don't know when I'm going to buy it, but I will. Because I really want to support this theme. Because um, I want to... Hopefully we can get more Pixar sets at some point. But, um... Yeah, I don't know why we don't have that much. But, the yeah, the figures are amazing, and the... Yeah, everything here is great. I don't have a problem with this. And you get... Also, you get a laser for Buzz. So that's neat. Then you get the crystal thing. I forgot the name of it, but you get that, too. Um, and that what's really nice about these sets, in particular, is that you get alternate head heads for Buzz and Hawthorne. So if you don't want to use their purple, uh, purple heads... You can just take them off and put their human heads on, which is nice. And they both get alternate faces, which is always a win. So that is great. And that's all I have to say about the Zerg battle. I mean, it's a it's a great set. Um, and if it didn't have Zerg in it, I probably wouldn't want to buy it. But yeah, um, he's the main reason. And yeah, he was great in the movie. So yeah, I'm maybe a bit disappointing You'll know why if you've seen my review of it. Anyway, let's move on to the last and the biggest set of the Lightyear theme is the XL-15 Spaceship. And this is $50. And this is 497 pieces. So this is the largest one. Um, I guess the most, the one with the most pieces. Um, and this seems worth it for $50. I mean... I don't know. It seems a little bit overpriced. Uh, but apparently this has a lot of pieces, so... I guess it's worth it. I don't know. I'm definitely buying this, though, at some point. I might wait for it to be a little bit cheaper. I don't know. It just depends. But yeah, you get three minifigures. Um, may try to remember her name. Uh, you get Mo, Darby, and Buzz. Um, so that's cool. And then you get Socks the Cat, which is always great. And, yeah, you get the, the, uh, the spaceship, which is a fantastic design. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's look at the minifigs first. Let me see if I can give you a better picture. Uh, sorry if the screen is a little bit janky. So you get Socks the Cat again. Uh, you get Mo, and then you get Darby. Pretty sure that's their... I might be switching their names. Anyway. Sorry, that's thunder in the background. You might be able to hear that. Um, then you get Buzz. This Buzz is different. It's like the pilot version. So he's definitely different than the other one in the other set. And the Zerg one. So that's nice. Um, these two figures are exclusive to the set, which is great. They're very detailed. And they both come with hair pieces. And the best thing is, they also get the armor pieces so they're like the helmets that's great i i don't remember the 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 name of the security forces of and light oh the star command security they get the the star command security uniforms which is great the helmets and yeah buzz also gets the helmet when he's flying the ship um you get the canister and uh laptop yeah some basic stuff um, this is probably one of the coolest spaceships I think we've seen in a set, uh, at least for a long while. It just looks really cool. It looks exactly like it did in the movie, which is probably what you want. 
Um, and then you get, it looks very X-Wing like. It, it gives off the X-Wing vibes. Um, it looks very similar, <laughs> but in a good way. It's obviously trying not to be a ripoff. It's a new thing. Um, it looks really great. I love the way that wings are kind of down. And then you got the cockpit, which is a new piece. And um, the engines are really cool. You got the fins, the, the cool colors, like the white with the blue. That looks nice. You even get a stand. That's like rare for a set under $100 to get a, sand, a stand. So that's nice. Uh, Buzz looks great in it. I think you can also put socks in the back, so that's cool. There is also storage space, so that is that is really nice. Um, I have no complaints about this whatsoever. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. It looks really great. Um, definitely will buy it at some point this year. Um, it depends on if it gets cheaper. I might buy it sooner. Probably I'll have to wait. Um, I would like it at like forty dollars. I think that would be good. Um, Fifty is not bad, but it just could be cheaper, you know. So I don't know. I might just buy it at full price. I don't know. Probably. Um, but yeah, it's got a cool stand, cool design, really great. Look, just look of it. It looks very unique. And then if if you've seen the movie, you know what it is. So that's cool too. Um, it's probably the best set of the line, although my favorite is definitely the Zerg battle. Um, but this is probably the second best set in the line. And I hope they'll do more Pixar sets. They they need to do more. At least do something for Inside Out, something for Cars, something for Incredibles 1, something for Monsters, Inc., uh, Finding Nemo. Like, do some, some of these classics. Like, maybe do some... I don't know. They, It just depends. I don't know if they'll go back or do anything from older stuff, but could be nice, you know? But that's the XL-15 Spaceship. Pretty sweet set. Pretty sweet design uh, in the film. So, yeah, I, I love all these sets. Even this, the Z Zerg bot one, um, which is overpriced, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's the pit, that's the Lightyear collection. Hopefully they'll make you know some more pixar sets in the future but hope you enjoyed this hope it wasn't too terribly long um and i hope you um are able to get these sets if you're interested uh please see the movie just support it so we can maybe see some more um that's all i have to say for these i really like all three of them again the zerg battle is my favorite the zyclops one is is cool but not worth my money um, and then the XL15 is really, really awesome. So, yeah, they're all great. Um, let, me, let me know, do you have any of these sets? Do you want them? When are you going to get them? Let me know. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I know it's very late, but I like to cover these sets I'm interested in, even if they're not on my list. So, yeah. Um, thanks again for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it again. <laughs> And I will see you in the next news analysis, which will be very soon. Take care. Have an awesome rest of your day.